Hello, in this lecture we will take a look at the exercises for chapter one. This will be a workbook type of assignment, so as we go through the chapters, we do want to work through the chapters as we move forward. So you can read through the book, but you will have to go back and work the problem within the book using QuickBooks as you go. So first thing I would like to do is make a folder on our desktop, which we had done last time. And prior, if you have not reviewed the prior video, both installing QuickBooks and then updating Larry Landscaping, I'm going to make the assumption that those two things have happened. So go back and look at the two videos, one to install QuickBooks, two to download and restore the file of Larry Landscaping. Once that happens, I recommend having a separate folder that we could put our data files into. We will be working with one data file through Chapter 5, but after that we will have more than one data file, one more than one company we will be working with, and you will want to store those somewhere. So here's where I put them on the desktop here, and you'll recall that we had a backup file and a data file. That's where I'm going to put all of the QuickBooks files. Then we're going to have to print reports for the homework. So as we generate reports, I'm going to save them and print them as we go, and then uh, we can then pick and choose the ones that we need to turn in for the homework. So I'm going to make another folder here, and I'm going to label it this way. I'm going to call it week one. You can label it some other way, but this is one type of uh, formatting that might be useful. So any way that you can find the files is fine. Within week one, I'm going to make another folder and call it chapter one. And that is where we will put, I will put at least, the files that we create as we go through this work process. Now, I'm using an ebook. You will be using a hard copy book. And when we go through the first chapter, it's going to look a little bit differently. The following chapters will be more of a workbook and we'll jump right into the problem. The first chapter is going to talk a little bit about QuickBooks before we jump into the actual activities. What I'm going to do, I'm not going to read through the whole thing, obviously. You're going to take a look at the activities here, and anything that is not in the gray area, it's usually the background story later on in the workbook or telling you some detail about QuickBooks. So this is going to tell you about Larry Landscaping. So read through these activities. In these videos, we will then jump to where we're actually going to enter data, which usually will be in these gray areas. So in the chapter one, it's uh, we don't have activities yet in just these gray areas. They're showing you some examples. So I'd like you to go ahead and read through this. And then we'll start up on here uh, when we start doing the activities. So you can go home, go through here and read through this. L look at uh, the types of figures here, the types of uh, registers. And then we will move down to where uh, the activities will happen. Down on page 9 is where we start to see the activities in the gray areas, and it says this is what we're going to do to launch QuickBooks account in Windows, and it has us go to the Start menu, and we could locate it in the Start menu. If we click down here, we go to All Programs, we can then scroll down here, and we're looking for QuickBooks, which is right there, and we could launch it in this way. Uh, just note that we could also launch it, most likely that you have a launch pad here on the desktop, a shortcut that we can launch from there. And if you've already opened Larry Landscaping, then you can actually go to the file which we put in the, uh, I put in the data files, and make sure that you're opening the data file and not the backup file, and therefore you can just click on this to open it. Uh, traditionally, most people, I believe, will double click on the icon opening the program in this case, which might be a little bit different than many people do in Word or Excel, where basically we double click on the file and the program opens automatically. Uh, most of the time we open the program first and then a lot of times look for the file. It will sometimes go to the last file that we were open to. If it's the first time using the program, it might have an uh, introduction screen. Uh, otherwise, this is the screen that it will open to. Now, we have the options to uh, create a new company, open and restore, and open a sample file here. But I usually use the drop-down screen up here to open another file. We could open in the shortcut, or we could open down here, but this is not always the screen that the file opens to. And if it opens to a different screen, such as another company, we will still have the file tab up here. So I traditionally go to the file tab, and then go to open or restore a company. And then in this case, we've already restored the company, so I'm not going to go through that process again here, even though the book will uh, read through that again. But uh, we went through the different options of doing that prior. 
So I'm just going to open the company that we have created in a prior uh, video and then we're going to mine are located on the desktop and then I scroll down to the QuickBooks folder and once again we want the data file make sure it's a data file and not a backup file and double click once the file is open you will open to the home page most likely if the home page is not open and you want it open you can click the home page tab here if it's not full size within the window you could full size it like so other thing I start off every time when I open QuickBooks is I like to view open windows so I'm gonna go every time to view and then open windows so I can see what windows are open which in this case are only the home tab at this time also note that if you're using 2014 or another version it might have a different you know look to it you can customize the look of the program as well so I'm, now I'm going to skip from chapter 9 I'm, again I'm not going to read through all the stuff that's not in the gray area I'm going to skip to the gray area we, it would like you to basically pause the video and read through it as we go to get the most out of this and then it says to restore a backup file uh, to its original format once again, it's going to go through it using the DV, the CD that comes with the book. We did it multiple ways in the prior video, so we won't go through that again. We have the CD, but if you do not have a CD drive, we've also uploaded it to the Moodle Rooms. So you want to download that, watch the prior video, and go through that. You can do it without a, DV, a CD drive, although the CD may be easier to use. So then we're going to skip down here. We're already in Larry Landscaping, so I'm going to scroll down. I'm in uh, chapter 11, I mean page 11, chapter 1, and we have the components of QuickBook account window. So we're just going over the, the activities in the window, and so I, I won't, uh, you can read through that. And then it says we're going to back up. So the next gray box on page 12 then says, to create a backup file for later use and then close the file. So the first thing they want us to do is, is back up the file and so we'll practice backing up the file. Two reasons that we're going to back up a file. One, so that we have a backup usually in a separate location and two, the backup files will be compressed files so that we can send them more easily uh, and even email them if they're small enough. Sometimes they won't be because even the compressed files are fairly large. So number one says, in the window explorer, create folder on your USB drive or other external drive called My QuickBooks Backup. So we've already got a folder set up, so I'm going to go to number two on Quick, in QuickBooks account. Click the File tab and then click Backup Company. Then number three says, choose and create local backup. And number four says, identify the location where you want to backup your file for later use. So I'm going to go through that process here. I'm going to open up QuickBooks going to go to file and in this case we're going to back up so we're going to back up company and it gives us these window over here I'm going to go to create a local backup so we're already open Larry landscaping we are in Larry landscaping we're creating a backup we just restored it from the backup <laughs> and now we're creating another backup to practice the backup process it told us then that we're going to go to a local backup so we're not going to back it up online in this case we're going to select next then we're going to get this browse screen Browse means we're going to locate some location on our computer in order to back this up. So I'm going to go ahead and browse. And we get a browse screen that has a drop down icon, which can be a little bit different in feel, but it's the same type of screen. We are going to back it up to the desktop and I'm looking for the accounting, the QuickBooks class. I'm going to click this little window and then I'm going to put it into the backup files again. So it's not a data file to me, it's a backup file when we restore it we're going to put it into the data files is the way i have it set up here and we're going to say okay and okay and so it tells you here you've told us to save the backup copies to the same hard drive that your company file is on we do not recommend this why don't they recommend this because the point of the backup is to save it somewhere other than your hard drive where you have the original file in case the hard drive crashes but in this case of course we're not doing that so if you had the if you had the original file on your computer on your c drive you'd want to save the backup to an external hard drive or something like that so that if the computer got a virus or something or crashed then you'd have the backward backup somewhere else but we're not going to change the file in this case we're going to use this location and we're going to say save it now and then for some reason it does the same thing I mean it does the same navigation showing us where it is in a more traditional window which without the drop downs 
we already have a similar file here we're just going to make another one and it'll actually make another one with a different timestamp so that we can make multiple backups which is fine that's traditional because we're probably going to want to back it up every time we use it or every night or at least weekly so i'm going to say save it and it will go through this process to back up the file so that process took us through uh, number five to create the backup. And number six, uh, your screen should look like this. It takes us through number seven. We did the backup process. Once again, on page 13, I'm going to skip through the scenario here. I, I recommend pausing and reading through that. Going to go to the next area where we have activities. So uh, that was going to be down here on page 14. We're going to scroll down. What we're going to do is to identify the customers who owe the company money and the total amount of receivables due from these customers. So in order to do that, we're gonna click the reports, click customers receivables, then click the AR aging summary. Uh, now click the collapse button at the top of the report. The figure in 1.19 will appear. So we're looking for that. So I'm gonna go over here. We're gonna to go to reports, which is right here. I'm gonna make this a little bit larger. Notice we have the tabs at the top. I'm gonna to make this larger here. Notice if you have the open windows open, you have two windows open now. Also note that we're in two different views. You can, you can see it as a simple kind of report view here, or you can see it as a list. I tend to prefer seeing it as a list. So I'm gonna click the list button there. Note that we have the tabs at the top, standard, memorized, favorites, uh, uh, recent, and contributed. And we have the kind of tabs at the left, company files being the default for the most part. And we, of course, now are looking for the AR aging summary. So we're going to go to customers and receivables. So we're going to go to customers and receivables here, and we're going for the AR aging summary. So that's going to be the top report. And in order to launch the report, we could hit the run button there, and that will run the report. So here's the report, and notice the date that popped up is 1215. That's kind of the default that this file has told us to pop up to. If that default was not set, it would pop up to the current date all the time. So when you're really working in QuickBooks, it would be popping up to the current date, which would be here for the most part. Uh, of course, when we're doing files like this, we're going to either be we're going to be working in the past in this case. So then it told us to collapse. So we're going to go ahead and collapse this. So I'm going to go here and that's this button right there and collapse. And now we have this activity here and the dates are as of 1215. So my dates are as 1215. If I pull this this way and I pull this this way, we can compare these two reports. They look pretty much the same there. So it looks like we got the correct report. Then generally, I'm going to print these as we go, even if it doesn't tell me to, because uh, the